watching the CBBC channel and it's now time to find out news around the world and where you're from. Let's join the news now team. Hi there, this is News Round. Our top story is the elections in Iraq. People in the country are voting for a new government for the first time since the overthrow of Saddam Hussein. The poll has already been disrupted by a big explosion in the capital, Baghdad. But despite the bombing, the vote is going ahead. Now, the charity UNICEF looks out for children around the world. That includes the millions of children whose lives have been affected by the virus AIDS. Now, the Star Wars actor Ewan McGregor has been to meet some of them. He travelled to the African country of Malawi as part of his role as a UNICEF ambassador. A warm, happy welcome for the British actor. These are just some of the half a million children in Malawi who've lost one or both their parents to AIDS. This is Ewan McGregor's first trip to Malawi. He's a UNICEF ambassador and he's here to see what can be done to help children here. Orphans at this centre are given education, guidance and support. So, as a UNICEF ambassador, how can he help? The ambassador's role is that to flag up problems, to help UNICEF raise money to tackle them with. This is Martha. She's an orphan. She's showing you in her memory book. It tells her story. This is Salome. Both her parents died and now she has to look after her brother. She says she's had to grow up too soon. I'm 12 and like an adult now, there is no time to play. Ewan is now planning a motorbike trip from the UK to South Africa. He plans to visit more UNICEF projects along the way and meet more amazing children. More of today's top stories now and in sport. Alex Ferguson's bad week just got a bit better. His team Manchester United beat Wigan last night 4-0. The first goal of the night belonged to Rio Ferdinand, his first for his club in 139 matches. The home win comes after a string of shocking results over the past few weeks. Sticking with sport and today could be the day Roy Keane finally signs for the team he supported all his life. The newspapers are saying he'll make Celtic his new home this week. Keane left Man United last month. He's always been a big fan of the Glasgow club and by the sound of things they like him too. They're reported to be paying him £47,000 a week. Finally to a not so secret smile. Scientists have revealed what they reckon is the truth behind the world's most famous painting. The smile of the Mona Lisa has always fascinated art fans. Now scientists say they've worked it out. They think it's 83% happy, 9% disgusted, 6% fearful and 2% angry. That's it from me for now. I'll be back with the latest in half an hour. See ya.